Who is Jonas Bergstrom, some of you might ask? The short answer is that he's Princess Madeline's ex-fiance, but there is so much more to this captivating tale. Today, we invite you to dive deep into the enthralling story of Princess Madeline and Jonas Bergstrom, a story filled with love, betrayal, and unexpected twists. Jonas and Madeline met through mutual friends back in 2002. At first, Jonas was hesitant to say yes to going on a date with a princess, but he eventually gave in. They dated for several years, and Jonas proposed to Madeline on the island of Capri early June 2009, and the engagement was made official on August 11, 2009. Originally, the wedding was supposed to take place in late 2010, and it was speculated that November was the month they would get married. However, things didn't quite go as planned. Madeline and Jonas' relationship crisis can be traced back to early 2009 when Jonas went with friends on an annual ski trip to R in Sweden. He checked in at the hotel under the alias Jacob Bernström, and on this trip he met a Norwegian girl who he allegedly was intimate with behind Madeline's back. Soon after, when media found out Jonas had checked in under an alias, it became clear he was hiding something. Rumors that Jonas wasn't faithful started to spread, and news of the couple's relationship crisis became more frequent. In early 2010, things really took a turn for the worse. They hadn't been seen together for months, and when Queen Sylvia, Madeline's mother, was interviewed on April 13, 2010, she told the reporter that she had heard of the rumors and told him everything is fine with Madeline and everything is okay between Madeline and Jonas. But was it? Only a week after Queen Sylvia had made her statement that everything was fine, Norwegian gossip magazine Sin Ha published a tell all interview with a Norwegian girl, Tora Upstromberg. Tora turned out to be the girl from R. In the interview, Tora claimed she and Jonas had been intimate in R. Tora did not recognize Jonas at first as he had introduced himself as Jacob the whole time. Later, Tora realized who Jacob really was and tried to get a hold of him without any result. That is when she decided to go public with the story. Just days before Sin Ha published the Tora Upstromberg Tell All article, it was reported that Madeline had thrown Jonas out of her apartment at the palace. Some speculate that she already knew about the affair with the Norwegian Blondie. Just four days after Tora came clean, the royal court announced that Madeline and Jonas had decided to go their separate ways. Jonas falls in love with Madeline's childhood friend. Madeline's childhood friend, Stephanie, was a great support to Madeline after the breakup. Stephanie and her at the time boyfriend were good friends of Madeline and Jonas and used to hang out a lot and go on double dates together. Stephanie was a great support to Madeline after the engagement with Jonas was broken off. She herself had recently broken up with her boyfriend at the time so the two could relate. Shortly after the breakup, Madeline fled the country. She moved to New York to work for Childhood, an organization co-founded by Queen Sylvia, and also to get away from Jonas and the chaos their breakup had caused in her hometown, Stockholm. Jonas stayed in Stockholm to lick his wounds after the breakup. And while Madeline was away in New York to get over the breakup, Jonas became closer to Madeline's childhood friend, Stephanie. The two eventually started secretly dating, and in early 2011, it was official. They were a couple. When Madeline heard the news, she is said to have immediately broken off all contact with Stephanie. Stephanie and Jonas eventually got engaged in October 2012, just like Madeline and Chris O'Neill. Madeline married Chris on June 8, 2013. Stephanie and Jonas got married on August 17, 2023. The reception was held at Stephanie's family estate in Sweden. Her bridesmaids were here good friends Malin and Ellie Nori. Malin is the founder of the popular Swedish fashion brand Bimelina. Naturally, when you are a part of Stockholm's high society, you are bound to have some mutual friends, as is the case with Madeline and Stephanie. Some of the same guests who attended Madeline and Chris' wedding also attended Stephanie and Jonas' wedding. Among others, Louise Gottlieb, who is Madeline's best friend. According to unverified rumors, Stephanie asked Louise to be her bridesmaid, which she originally agreed on but later refused out of respect for Madeline. After all the chaos and everything Madeline and Jonas went through from their breakup and until they met their new partners, it is good to see that both are now happy and in love again, although the couples inevitably are bound to run into each other in the future with all the mutual friends between them, it is safe to say the hardest part truly is over. Currently, Jonas Bergstrom is a partner at a Stockholm-based law firm and Stephanie is an entrepreneur. Stephanie founded her own clothing company called Soft Goat that specializes in designing and selling high-quality cashmere clothing. Jonas and Stephanie currently live in an exclusive neighborhood in Stockholm with their three children.
Madeline and Chris currently live in a luxury villa in Miami, Florida with their three children, Princess Leonore, Prince Nicholas, and Princess Adrienne, and their two dogs, Teddy and Oreo. According to information from the Swedish court, the family is planning on moving to Sweden in the near future. As for when that will happen, only time can tell. That is all for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like by hitting the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on the Swedish royal family.